Hi. Today I want to talk about one of my favorite topics. How to generate note events using algorithmic score programs. There are several programs to choose from. Common Music, Athena CL, Python Score. You could also use languages like Python or Perl to generate a score. But in this tutorial, we will focus on programs like Engine and Athena CL and Blue's own note processor. Engine is a score generator program. You have to install it separately, like the CMask program we talked about in the internal scores video. Again, we could make use of the external sound object and, using the command line, get the score back in blue. But I created an interface for Engine, as it allows for a faster and more intuitive use of the Engine program. This Engine score generator can be downloaded from BlueShare. We go to Tools. BlueShare is a repository for Blue instruments, effects and sound objects. The Engine score generator is a sound object. Here it is. And let's import the Athena CL score generator as well. We'll check that one later. Import sound objects and... Bob's your uncle. Both sound objects are imported in the sound object library. We can open this window by hitting F4. Here are both the engine score generator and the Athena CL score generator. We'll have a look at the engine score generator first. Copy and paste it on the timeline. The interface is built using the object builder, one of the sound objects of Blue. It can call an external program and you can create an interface for it. In this case, the engine text is sent and C sound score is returned, at least if there are no errors in the engine text. We will generate 100 events. Let's just hit test to see what happens. 100 note events are generated. The engine program uses the C language, so it is pretty fast. The time behavior of this object builder we set to none, the neutral state, and we see that events are created beyond the object. The object on the timeline has a length of 10, while the generated events stop at about 15. When we set time behavior to scale, all 100 note events are scaled back to meet the time span of the object on the timeline. The approach to score generation in Engine differs from that of Gmask, the internal score generator. Gmask generates all P fields and the data are unaware of what has been generated in what P field, like this. All the P fields of one event are created one after another. Engine has quite a different approach. All P field columns are computed, P field by P field. First all P2s, then all P3s, then all P4s, and so on. This makes it possible to create a relation between P field P3 and the previous P field P2, or other P fields. C sound parses one event at a time, engine passes by the P field. In this example, using an instrument with five P fields, five P fields are active here. P4 stands for frequency, P5 stands for the frequency of the filter. We have entered nodes, and those nodes move from between C8 and C9 to between C1 and C4. Then the nodes are converted to Hertz, as is required by our instrument. The object is set to time behavior none, and the 50 events generated continue beyond the object's limit of 10. Looking at P3, the duration, it is set to value 1, and it follows the rhythmic pattern because 1 means take the rhythmic pattern of P2, 
and multiply the outcome by this 1. If we make that half that value, 0.5, it will of course still follow the pattern of P2, but the duration of the notes will be half as long. First one. Then point five. I will now scale the events to the object as some notes don't fit. The filter frequency cutoff depends on the outcome of P4, yet another dependency I have set. While the frequency of the notes goes down, so does the frequency of the filter cutoff. So P3 is dependent on P2 and P5 is dependent on P4. Of course, this is just an example, but I wanted to show the interdependency option of Engine, as this sets Engine apart from other score generators. In Engine, the user can set a seed. When you set a seed value, you can be sure that each time the note events are generated with that particular seed, you'll get the same results. Engine has lots of options, and there are tooltips for most of the elements. Tooltips that can serve as reminders of how to go about in Engine. The tooltips contain a lot of text sometimes, and at one point you might want to hide these help balloons. Well, next to the loop checkbox, you'll find an I button. Click on it and all tooltips will be hidden. Let's go to the other score generator from BlueShare. It is an object builder as well, and it calls the program Athena CL. So you have to have this program installed as well. All download links can be found below the video. Stephen Yi. The creator of Blue found a way to get the generated C sound score from Athena CL back into Blue. He created a conversion tool called AthenaPipe.py. It can be found in the examples folder of Blue. So, the command to call Athena CL and get the score back into Blue is a bit different. It calls a script Python, path to AthenaPipe.py. String in file. Athena CL has its own way of doing things, and the options are quite extensive. Never a dull moment here. Again, the interface makes interacting with the program a bit more fun and intuitive, as it involves less typing. But you still have to learn how Athena CL works. It has seed options. One seed option for the texture module, a second seed option controls all other parameters. In this example, when you look at P5, the filter cutoff frequency, we have entered a cosine wave that moves between 200 and 3000 Hz. Let's have a listen. We can hear the cosine wave slowly moving opening and closing the filter, and when we set the wave faster, change the cosine to every three events instead of the 10 we had before. And this is just the cosine wave option. There are dozens of these parameter objects, as they are called, to choose from. You definitely need the manual. In P4, you see the frequencies are set to 100 and 110, but I also activated a second multi set of 200 and 220. The first multi set has a weight of 2, and the second multi set a weight of 1. So, the frequencies of the first multiset are used two times more frequently than the second multiset. Let's have a look at the texture module. 
It decides how the note events are interpreted and arranged. We were using the line groove that plays the note events one by one. But selecting the interpolate fill, we still hear the cosine wave doing its thing on the filter. But now new frequencies in between frequencies of the multi sets we have given are generated. One more time. It has a Zappa esque structure. It's funny too. Selecting harmonic assembly as the texture module and playing. Totally different. Now it is using the multi sets to create chords. Time segment. I'd like to get back to the note processor. We already had a look at them in the internal scores video. It is an effect for the p-field data. It processes the note events. The note processor can be found in the score object properties. You can add note processors to most of the sound objects in blue. Right now, there are 17 note processors to choose from and most of them add or multiply a fixed value to a p-field. But there are a few node processors that allow for a value to change over the entire object. Time warp, line add and line multiply. Let's have a listen to this simple saw wave instrument and what the engine score generator does to rhythm and frequency. Pretty straightforward. Only one frequency is generated. It has a rhythm pattern and a repetitive duration pattern as well. I copied and pasted this object and I will add a note processor to this one, a note processor with variable value. So we pick the line multiply processor. It defaults to P field 4. In our case, the frequency. And you see P4 is multiplied by 0 at point 0. That's the start of the object. So all frequencies will be 0. Pretty boring. So let's change that. I want to start the object with frequency 100. So it starts with multiplying by 1. Then in the middle of the object, I want the frequency to be 2 times 100. 200 Hz, and then at the end of the object, back to frequency 100. So the multiply ratio is 1 to 2 to 1. Back to the original object that has no note processors on it. The engine score generator will create 40 events. Press test button. Yes, 40. And when we check the properties of the object, we see that it is in scale mode. So it scales those 40 events to the subjective duration of the object of 10. When we set time behavior to none, we can see the real length, the objective duration of the object. We hit test and we see with time behavior none, it starts at 10 and ends at time 32. And we want to scale back to 10. So the objective duration is 32 minus 10 is 22. Subjective duration is 10. Objective duration is 22. What happens is that engine generates the score of duration 22 and blue is scaling it back to 10. But in order to set our changing value of P field 4 over the entire object, we should enter 0. Start point, value 1 for multiplying by 1, then duration 22, and back to multiply by 1. And then in the middle of the object, we want the frequency to be multiplied by 2. 200 Hz. Half the duration of 22 is 11, and that's it. 
Now we can scale the object how we want to, and the ratio within the object will always be correct. Start multiplying by 1, halfway by 2, and at the end back to 1. I want to speed up the rhythm in the beginning, and then slowing down till the end. So we have to add the time warp processor. As a default, C sound runs at 60 beats per minute, one beat every second. The time warp string starting point zero is 60, the default. Let's enter the end time, so the objective end of the generated events, 22, 60. Now both start and end points are set. No changes, so that works. Let us start the object four times faster. Four times 60 makes 240. And listen. You hear it is faster in the beginning, but then at the end it is very slow, not like the 60 beats per minute. And this has to do with the object being scaled. The values when scaled must be seen as scaling ratios. Those same 40 events have to fit the object of 10. Here we start at 4 times the speed, then go back to 1 at the end. So let's copy the object and change the 240 and 60 to 4 and 1. That should have the same result. We freeze both objects so we can actually see what is happening. They are identical. Conclusion. When working with the time warp, when objects are scaled, the beat values can be seen as ratios. Finally, I will show yet another score generating program. This is a program that comes with C sound. It is called CS Beats. CS Beats uses the Western tuning and rhythms notation. Details can be found in the C sound manual. I have created an external object with a duration of 10. I do not know the duration of the score yet. And I'm importing the results of CS Beats back into blue. CS Beats string in file, string out file. This is the instrument. There are two things we must check. The duration of the score, and we need to check that all P fields correspond with the P fields of the instrument. The time behavior of the external object is set to none, the neutral state. As you can see, the CS Beats score text generates notes for instrument 101, while our instrument is instrument 1. Now we can use the note processor to add to P field 1 a value of minus 100. We hit the test button to verify. Yes, it looks fine now, but the duration of the external objects should be about 12. Let's correct that. Before I play this, I want to say goodbye. So, see you next time.